can you only get a paying client with 10,000 followers on Instagram? That is probably the most asked question from you guys. And the answer is no, you don't need 10,000 followers on Instagram. You don't even need a thousand followers on Instagram in order to get clients. Now, the reason why I want to share that with you is just because recently I had another social shell, aka the women who go through my social shell course, who got a client with three Instagram followers. But guess what? Those three followers were her ideal clients. So I'm going to talk with you about the exact framework that you need to do in order to turn your followers into clients. Step one is to really know who is your ideal client. Who do you want to work with? What I also call this, what is, what's your target audience, right? So who is your client avatar? Is it female? Is it male? Where are they living? What shop do they have? It's completely different to work with someone who has a service-based business. Let's just say a man who sells, I don't know, socks on, online. That would be a product-based business or a woman who's a health coach. They have completely different needs when it comes to social media management and they don't want to work with any social media manager. They only want to work with a social media manager who knows exactly what is their need and pain. So what pain points do they have? They, so the man, for example, he wants to grow his e-commerce business with ads and just like have those sales. He doesn't really care about building a brand. Then the health coach, that woman, she only wants to work with high paying clients. She really wants to have that human connection. And for her, it's really important to create those relationships, for example, through Instagram. So these are just examples, but you can see they have completely different needs. Now, when I go on my Instagram account as a social media manager, I already need to know who I want to work with. And then from there, I create content that talks to that specific target audience. And with content, I don't just mean an inspirational picture or a quote. I talk about educational posts. So share something about your knowledge as a social media manager that talks exactly to this target audience so that the guy in that example feels super supportive in his pain points and his desires and says things like, oh yeah, that's exactly what I need, or the woman, or whoever your client avatar is, right? So you only create content on your own social media that speaks directly to your target audience. And then as well, your Instagram bio should be super on point so that when I come to your bio, I know you're talking to me. So I help health coaches grow their online business through social media. That could be an example for your Instagram bio. Just take out all the fussy stuff, really be on point who you're helping with, with what, and what is the outcome they can um, expect when they work with you. So your bio should really be on point how you can help that specific target audience so when they come to your profile, they feel like, yep, I need to work with that social media manager. All right, so for you, the exact action steps are to first find out who is your target audience, what are their pain points and desires with social media management, and how can you fill that gap? Create an exact Instagram bio that talks to them and only create content that speaks directly to them. And you can have three followers and convert all of them into paying clients. And that's what we want at the end of the day as a social media manager.